In this video, I'm going to show you how to add this click to call button to your website using Web Starts and a new service by Google called Google Voice. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to google.com forward slash voice. This will take you to Google's voice service. If you don't already have an account, what you'll need to do is click here to get an invite. If you are already a Grand Central user, which is a company that was acquired by Google a couple of years ago. You should be able to upgrade your account to Google Voice. So just log in to your GrandCentral.com account and upgrade to Google Voice. So once I am at Google.com forward slash voice, I simply log into my account, uh, which I've done now. And to get that click to call button, what you're going to have to do is first set up your account. Um, the idea behind Google Voice is to give you one phone number that rings all your phones. So you get a Google Voice number when you sign up for an account. And then what you can do is forward um, your calls to whatever phone you want when to dial the Google Voice number. For example, uh, maybe that's your cell phone, your office phone, or your home phone number, or whatever. And you do that on, by clicking Settings and then setting up a phone which is really your first step. I've already set up my cell phone here to ring when people click my uh, click to call or call me button which I'm going to place on my website. Um, if you want to set up a number just click add a new number and then you can set up that number whether that be again your cell phone, your office phone or your home phone. Now once you've set up a phone click on call the call widgets tab and you can see here that a little bit of code is displayed next to my widget and you go ahead and click on that and then right click and copy that to your clipboard that will allow me to carry that over to my editor. Uh, once I have that copied I'm going to go to my Web Starts account. Uh, now I've already logged into my account and then selected the page which I would like to add my call me button to so uh, I'm going to then click on the insert uh, HTML code option then I'm going to right click again and paste. That's going to drop my code into the uh, editor here. I click OK. And I'll scroll up and I'll see that my call me button was added to the top of my website. So I'm going to click it and then I'm going to drag it down here where I want it to appear and then click save. Okay, now I'm going to go to my home page of my website which is the page that I chose to add the call me button and I'm going to click on the call me button just like your site visitor would now do and then they would put in their name and their phone number and then they would click connect and what that's going to do is it's going to ring whatever phone you designated uh, when you were in your Google Voice account. For example, I designated my cell phone so my cell phone should start ringing any minute. Let's see if we can hear it. Okay, so maybe you can hear my cell phone ringing in the background there. And uh, once I pick up that call, what it will do is it will ring back the person uh, that's calling me as well and will be connected. And it's a great way to have your phone number or a way for people to call you on your website without giving out your personal phone numbers or displaying a certain phone number. So maybe, for example, you don't want just anybody to come to your website to know your cell phone number, but you really need to be able to be mobile throughout the day and answer uh, your phone uh, with your cell phone, then this is a great solution for that because that customer will never have access to your personal uh, cell phone number and that really works for any number. So anyway, enjoy and don't forget to visit webstarts.com to build your very own free website just like what you saw here as well as more great videos that show you how to do all kinds of wonderful things using the web.